Hey guys, welcome back to Ashley's Homestead Adventures. I am home from a day of mobile doggy nail trims and uh, I have a entire truck full of goodies for the horses. <laughs> that I need to unload, but not yet. It is late enough that it is evening, six o'clock, and the animals are calling and saying that they are hungry. So we're going to do some chores before we get all of this feed in the feed room and in the barn. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and go out and throw hay. I know you guys, but I'm gonna clean your bed before I feed you today. So just give me a second, let me throw some hay, and then I'll clean your bed. Hey kids. All right. So I need to get hay thrown to all of the horses and the cow, as you can hear. So I'm going to get that going. Go, you sassy heifer. Go get your dinner. Oh, very exciting gardener's note. Look. Happy birthday, baby carrot. That's exciting. There's another one here. Oh, and the other one here. right there and right there that is so exciting this is my uh, carrot bed on the back side of my barn that I grow strictly for the animals I just chalk it full of carrots and uh, then I can come out and I can pick fresh carrots for snack time which is kind of exciting Okay, little ones. Now here's the deal. I need to clean your bed before I can give you fresh food and water, okay? So no crazy business. You've only got about six more days inside. So let me get this bed clean and hopefully none of you escape because you're wild children. All right, there you guys go. Nice new clean bed and food and fresh water yeah. and your oyster shells. Oh, you guys are a pretty bunch. Okay, moving on to the big chickens.
Okay, now we'll move on to the teenagers. We have some crowers out here. Interesting, fun chicken fact. I was thinking about this today and thought that I would share it with you. I was washing eggs and chickens are just, they're an amazing animal. You know, they provide us with eggs and they provide us with meat. And, you know, for some people they provide them with companionship. Um, mine are obviously working birds, but they have great personalities. They're fun to watch. They're cute. But did you know that a hen is born with how many eggs she's going to lay for her lifetime? So if you, doesn't matter what kind of hen it is, she has all of the ova, the eggs, that she is going to produce throughout her life when she is born. So it's not like a, if you have a rooster, you're gonna get more eggs or that hen will only give you so many eggs and she has those eggs from the first day of her life in her body and then she develops them one by one over her lifespan, which I just think is really incredible. Hi teenagers. I really do feel like the crazy chicken lady some days. Oh boy. Got chickens everywhere. But that's that's part of growing your own meat and doing it in a staggered way so that you don't have, you know, 50 or 100 chickens to butcher at one time. Uh, it's nice to just be able to have, you know, a leisurely butcher day and do 10 at a time. So... Hence the reason why I have chicks and chickens in all different stages. Mostly in my big coops, it's my breeders. But it's also the chickens that are in the end stage of their grow out. The cockerels and pullets is what they call them. Males are cockerels and females are pullets. And they are in the second coop growing up with my colored flock because that's just what's working out right now. But those teenagers in the chicken tractor will move up here in another week and the ones in the brooder will move out to that chicken tractor so that the eggs that are in the incubator that are going to hatch in about seven days can move to the brooder. And a beautiful bucket of eggs to boot. I'm really quite loving these. Like, they're almost pink eggs. They're very beautiful. Okay, moving on. To uh, waters uh, in the barn. And I've got to water my flowers, the groom shop. And stalls. It's gonna be a late night tonight, you guys. And that's how it works sometimes. You know, I when you live in rural America, you've got to when you go to town, you go to town, right? So um, you do all the things. So today I went and picked up that great big order, and and of course went to Walmart and got just a few things that I needed, like butter. Uh, and ice cream. I'm a little bit of a glutton for punishment when it comes to ice cream. It's it's a guilty pleasure of mine. Uh, and then I went by the Humane Society thrift store because that's where I do all of my clothes shopping and I needed to drop off a donation. And of course it was 50% off day, so I had to go in there and get something. So uh, 
made my donation to the local Humane Society. And then uh, by the time I got home, it was time to answer messages and take orders for the farm stand um, delivery and the farm stand tomatoes went out this week and uh, everybody's really excited about it. So answered all those and everything and then it just kind of leads to doesn't matter how much I bust my butt when I get home. If I get home late, I'm going to be up late. But I love being in the barn at nighttime. I love watching the, the sky behind me. I love watching the sunset basically sets right there. And uh, so I can watch it as I'm cleaning stalls. And it's a peaceful place for me. Have you guys started putting up your fall decorations yet? I did today. And I always struggle. I struggle in the fall with, you know, I want to do like the fall color, the leaves. I love the pumpkins and the scarecrows and the pilgrims and the owls and, you know, all those beautiful rusty fall colors, the golds and the oranges and the silvers. And then like you've got this the pumpkins run into being jack-o'-lanterns and skeletons and and I feel like that's like an entirely different holiday. So I think what I'm going to try to do this year is I'm going to try to celebrate fall until October and then in October I'll put all my scary stuff out. You know, I'll put my skeletons out and my boo and my, uh, you know, maybe carve a pumpkin or two, let the chickens carve a pumpkin or two. Um, and I'll take you guys along for that. That's kind of cool. It's fun to do. Uh, and then once Halloween's over, pull all that stuff back in and put the fall stuff back out with the pilgrims and the turkey and, you know, the Thanksgiving stuff. But I feel like so much of the time we miss like the pretty festive decorations of fall because everybody like skips straight to Halloween. And... I don't know. I like the fall stuff better than the Halloween stuff. You know, happy fall, y'all. Um, so anyway, that's I started doing that today, and I'm excited about fall. I'm finally there. I'm excited about it. And uh, I'm going to wait until October, and then I'll put my scary cats and spiders and jack-o'-lanterns out. Miss Velvet is feeling better, albeit she looks kind of crabby right now.
Okay, now that all of my kids' beds are clean and they're fed, let's go get that feed unloaded. First things first, I need to add what bins I need to add for the feeds that are coming in that we don't have bins set out for. So, And there you have it, 800 pounds of feed and bedding unloaded. I hope you guys had a great day and happy fall, y'all. Yours truly. <laughs>